Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so so we were on the the disinformation the this disinformation that is going on in in Tokyo and uh and uh the the stuff that the the media, the Japanese media is not saying. What what kind of information do you think they, they have been withholding? Or they are afraid of well, I don't know that the I don't know that the media is necessarily withholding the information. Yeah. Uh, I think I think more so the needs to be more forthcoming with the data. Yeah. So the the fire that was in the the spent fuel pool of reactor four was two or three days ago. Yeah. And and that was when they had the explosion yeah. that damaged that building. Yeah. To, to my knowledge, there hasn't been a fire since then. Yeah. But the, the concern is that they've lost water mm -hmm. in both the, the number three and number four spent fuel pooling cools. Yeah. And that's why you've seen on the news the attempts to drop water by helicopter yeah. and the use of the water cannons. Yeah. So they, they put a lot of water on the number three reactor building today. Yeah. That's true. Um, in order to try to get get um, enough water uh, in the pool to to cool some of that spent fuel. Yeah, but that and area yesterday. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, in that area, the people that are working there are basically risking their lives. I mean, they're they're gonna die from radiation sickness or something like that. Do you think so? Well, there's no doubt that the people that are there are are risking their lives. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to speculate whether um, any of them are at risk of either getting very sick or or death. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully they're rotating those people enough mm -hmm. that their radiation exposure is kept yeah. below a reasonable number. But the, the radiation levels at the plant are definitely limiting what they're able to do. That's why the helicopters had to fly so high. Yeah. And that's why they wanted to use the water cannons yeah. so that they could they could be farther away because it would not be possible for someone to go directly up there with a the fire hose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but, I, but, but but that type of radiation if it, um, would be gamma radiation. Yeah. And uh, the reports today say that the radiation levels at the site boundary are only two to three millirem, mm -hmm. which, which uh, is... Quite, quite good. A couple days ago, yeah, where there were reports of thirty-five to forty millirem at the site boundary. But if you were to go a kilometer or so away from there, yeah, you would not be picking up any radiation. But you, you, you mentioned before that there were three types of radiation, right? How dangerous right. are those? So, so that's the gamma radiation. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're outside of the 30-kilometer evacuation area, yeah. there's absolutely no concern whatsoever. At the moment. Right. But the worst-case scenario? Yeah. Even in the worst-case worst scenario? Worst-case then even at that distance, should not be a problem. In the worst case? The, the bigger concern is the particulate radioactivity. Yeah. So cesium, iodine, strontium, that, and others that would be released uh, um, in larger quantities if there was more fuel damage or if there was more damage to the spent fuel pools. Yeah. That, that can be carried by the wind. And, and even though uh, it's a geometric expansion, in other words, the farther away you get, the, yeah. the more volume there is and the concentrations are lower. Yeah, but the area is bigger. The area of the damage is bigger. Uh, okay. Well, no. When if you have a certain amount of radioactive particles released, yeah, as it travels, yeah, yeah, it, it expands, uh -huh. right, to a larger and larger volume of air. 
So oh, okay. the, the concentration yeah. will, will be lower. So, so for instance, today they were able to, to detect some of the radiation in California that yeah. came from Japan. Oh, really? But the levels are so so low yeah. that it's of no concern. All right. All right. In, in a couple of days ago in Tokyo, they were able to detect increased levels. Yeah. But but the levels were relatively low, and today they're even lower. But that but is... Huh. That is the thanks particles to are the... more of a concern. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. The particles are more of a concern because they can travel distances. Yeah. And and generally speaking, if they were uh, to get on your clothes or on on your skin, it's not really so much of a problem. Yeah. The problem is if you were to breathe them in or ingest them, or if some of them were to get in your eyes where you don't have as much protection because on your skin of course yeah you know you have several layers of skin yeah and the first couple of layers are actually dead right yeah we're, we're at, you know you don't notice it so much but your outer layer of skin is always flaking off yeah, yeah. so those those particles are, are not so much of a concern um except for for breathing them in and adjusting them that's where of them because Inside of you, you don't have your your skin to protect you. Ah, okay. That's why they recommend to use and, soap. Well, so that's why. Mm. That's why. Oftentimes, there'll be people will be told within a certain distance you should evacuate, and then at a farther distance out you should shelter in place. Yes. Where they will tell you to go in your house, close all your doors and windows. Yeah. And, and and because that will help keep the vast majority of the radioactivity out. Okay. Um, again, um, where you're at, there's really no concern whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the other thing is like uh, these part particles when the, they spread out. How long is the lifetime of, of these particles? I mean, how long are they going to be around, right? The radioactively speaking. I mean. So um, mm. the, uh, a lot of these uh, half lives on these materials are, yeah. are quite long. I mean, uh, many many years, and in some cases, um, you know, thousands of years. All right. So again, the the levels, you know, outside of the the plant area mm -hmm. have 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 not been. Of, of much concern yep. and again we've been very fortunate because of the winds all right yes so the, the problem of course is um, while while the situation of the plant um, hasn't been getting any worse for the last day yeah there's still you know much much work to be done and there's still the potential that something else could go wrong yeah And you know the worst, the worst case scenario obviously would be for there to be a, a major release of radiation mm -hmm. in con in conjunction with the wind shifting inland. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And cer certainly, um, in the in the area of the plant, yes. uh, they when this when this is all done and. They've finally been able to get water and cool things off. They will have many, many years of dismantling and decontamination. Yeah. Because these, there will be a lot of these particles, of course, right in the plant area. I understand. Um, But uh, again, as far as way away as you are, mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think there'll be any concern. And like, like I said, unless there was some additional major release of radiation and the wind shifted and carried that all inland. Which is possible. It's possible, but um, they are making progress. So I, I don't know if you've seen the latest news report, but they have, they now have electricity to 
units one and two, yeah. and they're now in the process of slowly trying to reconnect some of the equipment in those plants. Yeah. And um, if you heard the, the last couple of my updates, yeah, they had restored uh, power yeah. from a diesel generator yeah. to both units five and six. So units five and six are stable, which is good news. I also saw a report that the the the, the shared spent fuel pool is stable and the water level is stable so that's good because there had been no news on that all week so although we have a very very serious situation it's at least not getting any worse and and as you know every day for the last week it got worse every day yeah yeah so so and to, you know today i don't think we have any great news but we have news that it's not getting any worse Where are you getting the news? What kind of source? So I, I have to take a lot of time to look at a lot of different websites. Yeah. Um, the, the internet community has been great in, in keeping uh, Wikipedia updated. Yeah. Um, there's actually information that is posted by, I, I actually, I, I would have to look. Um, The, the Japanese equivalent of the NRC has a website, uh -huh. and they post information. Yes. Um, the Nuclear Energy Institute mm -hmm. here, the uh, International Atomic Agen Energy Agency okay. in Vienna. So, and then, of course, the normal news, um, Yahoo, CNN, okay. uh, Associated Press. And yes. I take all these little bits and pieces mm -hmm. and, and, and try to put them together Yes. Um, so that I can do the updates every day. It, it takes me normally about an hour, hour and a half to to collect all this information and then uh, be ready to talk to Evelyn and give her an update. All right. Well, I'm really and that's, thinking, really and that's thinking. I think, frustrating because, mm -hmm. because there, there should be one place yeah. that... People can go for information, and I will. I will say I think that after some days now, yeah, more and more good information is out there. So today, or I should say, in the past 24 hours, and I was gonna, I'll bring this up on the update tomorrow. Yeah, the the Nuclear Energy Institute has posted a lot of good information. They posted some YouTube videos yeah. that help explain things and. Uh, And I, I think that that's really helpful. And hopefully, you know, there, one or two things are going to happen. Either, either in a couple of days, uh, we'll get get power back, and the situation will be better. Yeah. And the there'll be more information available on the internet, so that my updates won't be needed. The only concern I have is um, once. The immediate crisis passes. Yep. Then there's no news anymore because it's not. It, 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 it's not it's nothing that they want to show on TV. I understand. And of course, this is going to be something that will take weeks and months to actually bring to a completely safe situation. I understand. We were so speaking. We'll have, we'll, have, we'll have to judge how long we continue to do these updates because mm -hmm. um, I think there is getting to be some good good news out there. But on the other hand, I'm, I'm afraid that once it's no longer uh, sensational,